Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Well Squad Chris here. So, check this out. I'm finishing up on uh, an Etsy trade, a trade that I got in last month, the beginning of last month. So, I told the Well Squad about it. I post all my trades in the Well Squad, but I got in at $170. And then a few days later, it dropped, you know, three, four dollars from there. So, I got in, um, uh, added some more, $168, and now it hit 210. So, I took some profits already. So I got into this trade on June 8th and then in the middle or towards the end of June, I took profits because it hit a hot RSI and I'm gonna walk you through this trade on my computer. And then it pulled back a little bit, right? Which we're anticipating it does because it hit a hot RSI and then boom, it runs again. So now I'm taking profits again. So the first time I sold the third, the second time right now I'm selling another third and I'll leave that third in to just run, right? So what I'm trying to do is attach my money to some of the biggest most innovative companies in the country, right? In the world. So they go out, they build these businesses and they hire these smart people to develop their business and to grow their business and grow their profit. And my money is attached to it, right? So all these companies in America aren't getting, gonna get more wealthy without me getting more wealthy and the people who, you know, invest their money to get wealthy as well, right? So uh, what I do is I trade money or I, I trade stocks to create money for my investments, right? I build business to create money for my investments. I go out and launch products, you know, and, and launch services and sell information, do all this stuff so I can have this big pot of money and I can invest it, right? And sometimes I'm investing it for uh, growth. Sometimes I'm investing it for income. But the whole thing is I'm out, you know, hustling and bustling, trying to to get some money so I could um, so I can invest it, right? So that's the whole get money by income thing. And one of the ways that I get money is by trading stocks. So here I made about $19,000 with Etsy and I'll let the rest of my shares just ride. So as Etsy continues to grow and grow and grow, so will my investment. So think about it, five years from now or seven years from now, Etsy doubles in price, my money is attached to it, right? So as all these social media companies grow, as all these tech companies grow, oil company, tobacco companies, doesn't matter, right? These companies get bigger, so does my wallet, right? So I trade stocks, I trade options, so I can get money for my investments, and then I attach my money, you know, there. Also, I'll trade money, or I'll trade stocks when I wanna go buy things too, right? So let's say I want to go buy a new watch. All right, cool, you know, the the, the, the watch I want, the Rolex I want, um, what might cost X amount of money. I'll go trade so I can have that money. Like for instance, I'm in uh, a Zillow trade right now. I'm trying to buy a Rolls Royce with the Zillow money, right? So it's I don't wanna get or ever be in a position again where I'm spending my income. I'm trying to spend the money that my money makes, right? So if I get some money, I'm looking to grow that money or flip that money and then uh, I'll spend what my money makes instead of spending the money itself, all right? So I'm basically creating a system where I can't ever be wealthier or not be wealthier the next day, right? So uh, if I get some money, I'm gonna put that money away, I'm gonna grow that money, and then I'll take whatever that money creates or a portion of whatever that money creates, and then I'll go shop with that, I'll pay my bills with that. So every single day I wake up, I'm wealthier than I was the day before, all right? So we're gonna walk through this whole trade on my computer and I'll show you guys what's up. I posted everything in the Wealth Squad, in the Wealth Squad, whenever I buy something or sell something, I'll tell everybody about it. So we'll hop on my computer and I'll just walk you through this real quick. Inside of the Wealth Squad. So in the Wealth Squad, we had a stock category and then the whiteboard is where I post all my plays, I post my watch list. Whenever I buy something, whenever I sell something, I let the whole squad know. So on June 9th, this is when I told everybody I'm starting swing trade with Etsy. First price target is 210, second price target is 226. All right, so <clears throat> this is what the chart looked like at the time, right? So this was last month. So I'm buying here, the 170 range. First price target is 210, second price target is 226. And I picked these price targets based off the previous high, right? Something that, uh, something that you'll learn in the course. All right, so boom, hop in on the, on the 9th of June. And then eventually like two days late or not two days, uh, the next week I end up adding some more cause it took a little dip, but we'll see how it played out. All right, so this is stockcharts.com. It's a free site, right? It's free. So you come here, you could chart stuff. So we'll look at, look at Etsy, see how it ended up playing out. So we're buying here on the 9th, around here, right? And then what ended up happening was traded sideways for a few days and then it ran. Towards the end of June, it ran, the RSI went hot. So I told everybody, yo, I'm selling a third of my position because the RSI is hot, 
right? This RSI tells you that the stock has went too far too fast to the upside and it's likely to come back down. So we use that as an indicator so we'll know to you know exit the position or at least take some profits because we can expect the stock to pull back after after that RSI goes hot. RSI goes hot above 70. So you see this is the 70 line right here. When it goes above 70, it's too hot and it's likely to come down. When it's below 30, like right here, it's too cold and it's likely to come up, right? So for a quick example, RSI is too cold here, but eventually it runs up. RSI is too hot here, eventually falls down. All right, so you can use that, you know, as one of the indicators uh, that you look at when you're determining to get in or out of positions. All right, so RSI goes hot, so I took a third. I sold off and took a third. So check this out on the uh, on the 28th of June, I posted in the well squad in the whiteboard and I said RSI is 70. I'm selling one third and I'll let the rest, rest ride. All right. So I took profits. Right. So if you can anticipate a pullback. You might as well just go ahead and take some profits off the table so you can move those profits to the next trade or use that profit to go, you know, pay some bills or whatever you want to do with it. All right. So. Uh, cool. I'll let everybody know. So we'll walk through this. All right. So this was uh, as of today. Etsy was at 209, right? So uh, up in this account, $9,799 in this account up $5,000. So I'll sell, you know, a, a third of this and I'll let the last little bit run, right? So that's the end of the trade. Now I'll just let the rest run, you know, as a long term play. But I'm done with this trade. I'm out of this trade. So now the way I look at it is if Etsy starts fluctuating now, you know, if it goes down or comes up, goes down, come up, I'm not watching it every day. Now, at this point, it's just a long term hold. Right. I like this company long term, so I'm not going to pay attention unless the RSI goes low. Right. And then I can look for another opportunity to buy. But for the most part, this is now just an investment. It's not a trade. So like I was saying earlier, I just trade to create money for my investments or I trade to create money for my lifestyle or to pay my bills or whatever the case is. So once you learn how to make money with money, then it's game over for you, right? Like it's game over. So what happens is in society, what happens is people make money with labor and then they spend that money for their lifestyle, for their bills, for their investments, all that good stuff, right? What I'm trying to tell people is you make money with your labor and then your money has to make you money and then you can go spend with what your money made, right? You don't got to spend your money, you spend what your money made. You invest, you know, or it gives you more money to invest too. So that's the Etsy play. I post everything that I'm doing in the white in the whiteboard. Um, this this play just happens to be strong now, even when the market's selling off overall. Um, but yeah, we're exiting it out now and move on to the next thing. Make a lot of money trading like this, man. Like this year will be seven figures trading, uh, getting in positions, get out of position, throwing options in the mix, and all that stuff. So today is Friday. I got a 40 for 40 deal going on, right? So my seven course package is called Cyber Money. So there's courses in there about trading. There's courses in there about building physical brands, uh, physical product brands, digital product brands, right? All that stuff. It's seven different courses. Six of those courses are videos. One of them is a PDF, right? It's about eight and a half hours worth of uh, educational material. And I'm dropping a price from $199 down to $40 for 40 people. The last time I checked, there was 25 orders left so uh go get that and you'll you know learn everything i'm talking about man you could dive deeper if there's something that you're interested in all right so see you on the other side you see it